So good morning, James. Um, um, you talked about this morning um, uh, with your client, New Look, uh, about the work you have done with them um, uh, or to empower uh, their customers. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that project and um, how uh, and why was it so effective uh, for their business? Yeah, this, this project enables New Look to hear from their customers across all channels of their business at all times so they're always receiving real-time customer feedback and this is really valuable for New Look because it enables them to react quickly to the issues as they arise and, and solve them and gives them lots of fantastic data so they can understand the issues behind those challenges and fix those as well so it's a, it's a real-time customer feedback system that really enables them to take action at store level in the contact centre and for their online business. Do you have any um, sort of uh, use cases, real time um, sort of stories that you could uh, illustrate with? Yeah, for example, uh, somebody might leave the store and, and leave feedback that they'd left the store uh, without all of the items that, that they wanted. Uh, we can collect that customer's detail and enable that store manager to get back to the customer within. Uh, within minutes to, to ask them back into the store to help them either find the item on the on the click and collect on the on the order online or um, they may even have it in in the store one of the examples is we know that customers who have a relevant recommendation made to them are going to buy more so if we ask those customers whether they've had a relevant recommendation and they say they haven't actually we can reach back out to them afterwards and and, uh, and make them recommendations after the the effect to, to try and increase their kind of spend on that visit Okay, uh, I mean obviously uh, this morning there was quite a lot of discussions uh, around customer loyalty mm -hmm. um, and in the opening sessions. Um, um, we often hear about John Lewis and how uh, they very much value the staff uh, uh, as their biggest asset to, to in driving loyalty. Uh, to what extent do you agree with that? Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly that staff are the, the biggest asset in, in driving loyalty. People choose brands that they trust. Trust is built by companies fulfilling their brand promise consistently. That brand promise is delivered through the execution of the service, which is delivered by staff members. If you don't have staff members that are engaged in your customers and engaged in your brand, you can never deliver the consistent experience that you need to excel. So what we find is that organizations that engage their staff and, uh, and drive their staff effectively to listen to customers and to take the right actions are the ones that succeed. Do you have a particular, again, another particular example about where uh company empowered an employee and make a huge difference. Uh, we heard uh, earlier today some examples from Barclays uh, th that they mm -hmm. actually use uh, 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 an employee to book a taxi through Uber for a client that didn't have cash. Do you have any other examples about that? Yeah, I think if you look at many organizations today are, are doing customer journey mapping to understand the pain points that their customers are feeling throughout, uh, throughout their experience, one of our customers found that the returns process uh, from customer feedback was was really disliked, was really difficult and people were made to feel a little bit like criminals for returning goods and therefore a change in policy, empowering the staff to accept um, items of higher value without having to phone head office to, to do the right thing for the customer in the return. Maybe the, the item is slightly, um, slightly soiled but they swear they haven't worn it. Don't make them feel like a criminal, treat them like a valued customer and treat them right. You're, you're empowered to do that and what we've seen is the satisfaction with the returns process has um, has gone up. That store has spent less, actually, that organisation has spent less fulfilling returns by giving that empowerment to the stores than they ever did uh, in terms of when they tried to control it. So they've empowered staff, the staff has made the customers happier and they've saved money, so it's a win-win. So we're, in terms of uh, the trends, uh, obviously there's a lot of discussions out there about loyalty. Some yeah. people say loyalty is dead. Uh, you know, customers now um, just uh, it's based, all based on experience. But yeah. uh, from your perspective, uh, what, what what would you say loyalty will look like in the next couple of years? So my issue with the statement loyalty is dead is that um, people haven't accurately defined what loyalty is yet. When they talk about loyalty, they mean someone who's coming back to my store tomorrow or the day after. They don't mean somebody who is emotionally connected to and engaged with my brand and will choose us profitably in the long term. Um, so that's my issue with the statement loyalty is, is dead, is people don't actually understand it fully yet. We're entering the era of, um, of big data and analytics properly bringing experience data, attitude data and behavioural data together so that we can truly understand what what emotional impact experiences are having on, on driving real long-term loyalty rather than just short-term behaviours. When all of that comes together, then we, can make an issue, or then we can make a decision about whether or not loyalty is actually dead. Thank you. Um, 
Obviously, in terms of um, uh, strategies, what uh, what do you think um, business can employ uh, to a uh, understand better their customers, but also what uh, that means ultimately to drive loyalty? Yeah, it's absolutely vital that brands understand the journeys and the episodes that customers are having with their brands and which are the key points in there where are customers feeling most emotionally strained or having the, the best experience. Once you understand the end-to-end -end journey then you can decide where to focus and you can build a strategy for service uh, on the relevant points that are going to deliver the biggest return to your business. The second thing that the second strategy that customers must employ in order to, to the second strategy that, that brands must employ is real-time customer feedback. They must identify issues as they're occurring and, and close the loop. They must understand how customers are feeling and how customers are talking about their brand to their friends and on social media because delivering expectations and controlling that message is how the brands are going to succeed in future. And you talked about there about uh, real-time feedback. Obviously, one of the biggest trends out there is big data and analytics. Mm -hmm as people trying to really get to to understand on a one-to-one -one basis what customers are up to. Mm -hmm. um, how do you see that uh, as, a, a, again, a way of driving loyalty? How can you use big data and analytics? Big data and analytics is, is definitely a way that organisations can understand customers and drive loyalty. I personally have not seen lots of examples of that being done brilliantly yet. I think although big data, the term has been around for a long time, people still don't harness the data truly effectively to understand true emotional loyalty and it's only by linking together how customers feel with an understanding of what they're expected to feel with their behaviour that you can really get the most of it. But it is going to be key, it's just no one's figured it out yet. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, it's been an exciting event so far. Great. Uh, we look forward to the sessions this afternoon. I think big data and analytics is a big topic, mm -hmm. especially uh, about predicting uh, next actions rather than um, what happened uh, yeah. before. Uh, so we'll look forward to uh, seeing more today. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been, um, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you very much.